Good evening. I'm Paula Lopez in for Sharin Roger tonight. And hi, everybody. I'm Joe Gale. CJ has the night off as well. Here's what's happening. The controversial death of a man who died after police were called to the scene has been labeled a homicide by the Ventura County Medical Examiner. Toxicology results were released just today. Key News Bureau Chief Tracy Lair joins us live with our top story. Tracy? Joe, it took nearly five months for toxicology test results to come in, and they led to a homicide death certificate. The Ventura County Medical Examiner released the report today and says Robert Ramirez died from restraint asphyxia on Saturday, June 23rd. Contributing factors included methamphetamine and marijuana intoxication, as well as agitation and delirium. Police restrained Ramirez after friends called 911 to say he swallowed an eight ball of meth and was bouncing off the walls. Attorneys for the family say they plan to file a wrongful death lawsuit by the end of the year. To me, from what I've seen and what I've heard, I see no justification uh, for the amount of force the police officers used in this case. Besides choking him for over two minutes, they beat him. We know they beat him because we saw the bruises all over Mr. Ramirez's deceased corpse. Police called the medical examiner's use of the word homicide an administrative opinion that does not mean there was any misconduct. They say the 26-year-old parolee refused to cooperate when they tried to calm him down for paramedics waiting nearby. The department says they did not strike, choke, or use a taser, and the DA will need more than reasonable doubt before they would prosecute. Reporting from the Key News Bureau, Tracy Lair, Key News. All right, Tracy, thank you.